Hi guys, so um, I have my t these templates up before I ever did started doing the videos for them. So I'm jumping on now to put this um, video together to show you how to use the printing cup templates from ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com or the pre-designed templates. This is for printing cut and this is how you would use them. If you're with Cricut, Silhouette, whatever you're using, just try to follow along. I hope this helps. So you choose the template you want to work with, the pre-designed template you want to work with. Open it up in Cricut or like I said, whatever you use. Hit complex, then hit continue. Hit continue again because it's ready to work with. You don't have to do anything. And hit print then cut and then hit upload. Choose the one you want, choose it there. And hit um next now i make my files pretty big so when you open it up it might be big some of the templates might be too big so if you open cricut and it doesn't show you might need to close it out and come back in and then it will open i like to make it big because it's better quality that way it's not blurry fuzzy or any of that so once you get it um opened up in cricut you can go ahead and size it to whatever size you're going to be working with I like to do these um, 2.5. You can go smaller if you're going to do like clip-ons or um, posted earrings with this. The, these work well for that. You can. So you can go smaller. But let's say we were going to make 3-inch. Um, They're going to be 3-inch wide. So I'll go ahead and put 3-inch in. And then we want to make a duplicate. Now, if you're going to hang these and you want the back to look the same, that's fine. Group this together and make another duplicate. And you don't really have to do a horizontal flip unless you want to. So, if everything is, is um, well, I would do one because I don't, I'm not sure if this is a, um, symmetrical. So, horizontal flip it. That way it will glue to the back perfectly so then if you horizontal flip that I, I I wouldn't just to make it easier for you just don't don't horizontal flip it and it's gonna fit to the back just perfectly I'm thinking nameplates y'all so forgive me for that so don't flip it and leave it as such if you want the back to look the same if you don't want the back to look the same then you could put glitter or whatever so let's just say for me I'm going to do these earrings I don't want the back to look the same I'm gonna cut a piece of glitter or have the back look black or whatever I want to do so I will take this and then I would make these a basic cut file so now for now I can have these off and go ahead and hit make and send these to your printer and let your printer put it print them out and I would use um, Epson presentation paper in matte that is the best paper to work with it is very very nice and you will get vibrant colors and I also have a video showing you how to tweak your printer settings to get the best settings so go check that out as well so you run that through your printer and then um, once it prints it out, you load it up on your mat and then let your machine cut these two pieces out. Once they cut, you should have these set up. So, now this would be for your layers. You can use black cardstock, white cardstock, red cardstock, pink, whatever color you want to use. But let's say for each earring, if you're using 110 pound cardstock, I like Recollections the best. If I was going to do these, I would use the black. So I like Recollections the best, and I use nothing less than 110 pounds. So for each earring, I would want to do at least four layers. And for these, I would probably do them a, just depending on how I, was, how I was going to make these. So let's say I was going to have them hang. So I would do four to six layers. And so let's say for this earring, I'm going to do four layers per earring. If you, um, um, for the black cardstock, it comes eight and a half by 11. So you couldn't put this, this, um, image here because here is eight and a half here. So it would go over. 
so you could I could group these back and then just hit duplicate bring this down and hit duplicate again oh did I ungroup I think I ungrouped it so hit duplicate again remember don't size anything they they are already sized to fit so I can get I cannot get another one on there so I can get six of these on one sheet so I need eight so you would make these you would copy this control C to copy make these and attach them cut that off and control V to paste and so now that makes your eight so now you can load your mat up with the black car stock white car stock whatever you're going to use and then you could um, hit make and it will cut these out of your black card stock so once they cut and make sure you attach them because it'll move it around if you don't make sure you go down and hit to attach so make sure um, then you hit for these you hit make as well you load another piece after they cut now with the 110 pound car stock you let it cut and once it's done cutting that first time for me I don't change any settings like the pressure or anything now your machine may not cut all the way through that car stock and so instead of unloading the machine when it finishes the first pass through I just hit the cricket button again and let it cut back over if you unload then load it back up and try to let it cut it will not cut in the same space so instead of hitting finish when it's done cutting that first pass through, just hit the Cricut button again and it will cut back over it in the same place. So now you hit this and let these two cut out of black card stock. Then once they cut out, you leave these two on and load your mat if you're going to use a glitter paper or another paper, printed paper backing. Um, just say you, you, bought, you bought the... Um, scrapbook sheets that are already that have already been printed you know the ones you can buy on the scrapbook and owls some of those um books have the pages in it that have wood or rainbows and candy and i don't know fruits whatever it has on it maybe you want to use that for the back of the earring you can use that too you just load that on your machine and leave these two here and hit make and they'll cut them it will cut them out and for if you want to do glitter same thing you just choose the glitter you want load your machine hit make and it will cut the, these out same thing I said about the 110 pound stock apply card stock 110 pound card stock applies to the glitter as well you let it cut the first pass through and then hit the button again and let it cut it again do not unload it let it cut again before you unload and that is it that is then you just take your layers and you um start putting them together with my podge and for the printed part for your printed um, pieces you don't put my podge on the glitter on glitter if you're putting glitter on the back don't put my podge on it you can use rust-oleum clear lacquer it's like a clear spray paint to spray your glitter that way it keeps the glitter from shedding you can get that at walmart and for the printed pieces you want to put my podge on them first you want to put um brush on some my podge let it dry and then you can apply your resin if you want to if you want to add resin if you don't want to add resin you don't have to with these earrings you can spray the lacquer apply the Mod Podge to the print first let it dry then spray on the lacquer if you're going to use lacquer if not then let the Mod Podge dry and then add your resin that is it guys if you want to add a hole you can do that I like to use the um if I use this and don't cut it in here in Cricut then I like to use the Fiskars 1 8 inch hole puncher it's a small hole if you're going to um, do post backs or clip ons, you then you just glue them to the back of the earring with um, E6000. That is it, guys.
that is it. I hope this helps.